one person in the world in the 20th century that showed how you can reach the mass of people with an idea and make it move, crack the atom of people power is Mahatma Gandhi. Mohandas K. Gandhi took on what was considered the greatest empire in all of history, the British Empire, and Gandhi took it on with the teachings of nonviolence. He was able to inspire thousands of Indians to march to the sea, to stand up against British troops, and his goal, of course, was the freedom of India, to, to come out from un, under the colonial British uh, control. And he did that. Gandhi was uh, extremely influential in his teachings, both on Dr. King, on Jim Farmer, on others who were very, very involved in the race struggle before the race struggle in America ever came to the, the front pages of the newspapers. A group of black leaders went to Gandhi in India and said, come to America, come and show the way for Negro Americans to win their rights. And Gandhi said, I can't come because I haven't made good my message here, but it may be that you, where you're a minority dealing with a majority, can deliver the unadulterated message of nonviolence to the world. He knew enough about the plight of the Negro in the United States to recognize that it might be the Negro who would adopt nonviolent strategies and tactics. The Indian experience led the core people to nonviolence. They believed that the best way to approach a problem was through Direct, directly assaulting it, directly confronting it, but not responding in any way with, with any, any violence. The Freedom Ride would not have happened unless you had Gandhi's experiences that produced an effective way to change tyranny, violence. <laughs> There were people in the black community who said only through violence will the white uh, hate mongers understand. It would not have worked. It was genius on the part of the, of the Jim Farmers and the others who were devoted for years before 1961 to the, the teachings of Gandhi.